Hello everyone, Oli the Repair Dude is here again. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show how to bypass passcode lock devices using the NET RAM RAM disk 2. As you can see here, I have an iPhone X passcode locked on iOS 14. As you can see, it's locked and unlock iPhone to use accessories enabled. Let's get started with the tutorial video. The first prerequisite is to run those commands which is to install homebrew, copy and paste this command to run. I won't be copy and pasting to run the command as it will take a long time and I already ran the command previously to install homebrew. Then after which install libusb, enter brew install libusb. I already installed libusb so I won't be installing it again by running the command. Then the last thing is to link brew link libusb to link the libusb I already linked the libusb so I won't be running the command again after which download and let the Safari browser extract the net ram ram disk 2 after which you can open net ram ram disk 2 if necessary go to security and privacy to allow it to run and if you open successfully you get this Click start, select which iOS version range you want to boot. For me, has this iPhone for I mean X is on iOS 14. I see boot iOS 14 to 15. This says plug the device into DFU to start. For iPhone X to put DFU mode, press volume up, volume down, and press power button. Hold for 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Until you get a black screen. Then press and go to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Both power and volume down. Then let go volume and count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It should bring the device on DFU mode. Once the device is on DFU mode, press enter to load the RAM disk and do whatever it needs like exploiting the device once you get this click standard if you have any errors click alternative RAM disk to solve the issue let it do its job to send the RAM disk this will take some time so please be extremely patient Let it mount the partition, this will take a while. So please be patient. Your phone should show a black screen or something. For my case, it's a black screen. Press enter to launch the menu. Then press 1 to back up iDevice activation records. Press enter to return the menu. It should open the activation record folder. Check for this file, activation record. Make sure all the files exist. Include the activation.pds file. Fair play, iTunes control, iTunes. Make sure you have this file as well. Double and triple check to ensure you have all the files needed, like activation record.pds, com.apple, com thingy, this, this for the phone signal, this for notifications, fair, I mean FaceTime and iMessage. After this, you can close it and then you can press 6 to erase device. Click continue to start erase. Allow the device to be erased. This will take some time. The net ran ram disk will close. Allow the device to restart to the hello screen. This will take some time. So please be very patient. Okay, it's on the hello screen. I'll be setting up the device to show you this is activation lock. I'll connect the Wi-Fi network off cam. I'll show you this iPhone X is 
activation lock. As you can see, this will take a while for it to trigger the activation lock screen. As you can see, it's activation lock. Now we can run a net ram this again to restore the activation file we just saved. So we get calls, notification, place time, and iMessage. If you get this again, just click start. Go back and boot to the same iOS version range. For me, it's iOS 14 and 15. For now, put the device back to DFU mode for iPhone X. Try pressing volume up, volume down, and quickly press the power button as you get this. Hold for 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then press the volume key and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then let go of the power key. Press the volume down key only and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You should get this after you enter DFU mode successfully. Press enter. Now the exploit executed successfully. Let it run, run the RAM disk. Click standard again. If, if it works for you on standard, click standard again. Otherwise, alternate. Now let the RAM disk loads begin. Press enter to launch the menu again. Then press 2 to restore the signal files and the, all the files to activate the device. Then after that, press 5 to restart the device and bring it to the home screen. This will take some time, so please be very patient. Now the iPhone is restarting. I'll be demonstrating the SIM cards working on this phone with my... This is a SIM that at least I can make call to the customer service hotline. And boom! You have the home screen. No more activation lock. I will insert my SIM card to show you that signals work. This is the SIM card. I'm testing on. Okay. I can show you the signal works. Searching, network searching. You got StarHub signal. Just swipe up to unlock, then go to phone app. I cancel the FaceTime and iMessage. Then call. As you can see here, the tele phone calls work on this iPhone X with the activation files restored to the iPhone and it's on the home screen, most importantly. It's very nice. I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial video I made, especially for the net RAM, RAM disk. And I hope you subscribe to my channel, like this video and share. I hope to see you in another tutorial video again soon.